he started this mission in 1999 through an informal group and here we are after a long journey where we are stand today over to gadkari ji thank you my respectable cabinet colleague hardeep puri ji a person who is pioneer for the biofuel in india who is well respectable not only in the country but in the world now our dear friend mr pramod choudhary ji the mission starts with the initiative at that time from ram naik ji the most important person who was at that time taken interest in this particularly bioenergy is anna saheb patil the ram krishna is also i remember in the old days he is the person who always taken interest and initiative mr ram krishna ji sanjay ganju ji ravi ravi ji vaibhav ji distinguished dignitaries invitees ladies and gentlemen first of all from my side and from your side also i am giving my special thanks to respectable hardeep puri ji and shrikant vaidya chairman of indian oil for starting 400 ethanol pump in india and taking initiative in this mission <coughs> now this is in karnataka tamil nadu maharashtra and uttar pradesh the indian oil has taken a special interest and already that this uh, pet, uh, ethanol pumps to be very important as far as the biofuel is concerned the second important thing which is related with the country is every year we have import of fossil fuel up to 22 lakh crores and it is really not only a big problem related with the air pollution but it is also a big economic problem so now by starting this the day will come that we will reduce our imports and because of reducing import and encouraging the biofuel i am confident that the most important beneficiary will be the agriculture sector which will get the benefit from it today in our agriculture our growth rate in gdp contribution is 12% the manufacturing sector 22 24% the service sector 52 54% and a 12% contribution from agriculture and allied industries actually the population belongs to agriculture is more than 65% and dream of our prime minister to make india as atmanirbhar bharat and 5 trillion dollar economy and third largest economy in the world is the target for all of us and for that is the most important thing is to we need to reduce our imports and increase our exports and biofuel is the most important sector where it is going to beneficial to agriculture rural tribal economy and that is to be most important thing which is related with our economy today in the biofuel sector there is a huge potential i remember the transport minister it is our responsibility we are actually responsible for 330 million metric tons of co2 every year and i am the minister for that it is really a, i feel that it is the time for my ministry to change this scenario as far as the pollution is concerned and india is the third largest vehicle market in the world when i taken charge as a minister our number was 7 now just 6 month before we surplus japan and now our number is third the first number is usa second is china and now third is india in the world and uh, i feel that this is very important industry for indian economy 
This is the industry which is up till now creates 4.50 crore jobs. This is the industry which is giving maximum GST to the state and central government. And this is the industry which have got maximum exports. Our two-wheeler manufacturers like TVS, Hero and Bajaj, they have 50% of their production is export. So today you can understand what is the potential of this industry. All the majority brands in the world, automobile in, in automobile sectors, they are already they are already present in India. And if we are, it's a challenge for all of us that if we can have a good technology for uh, biofuel, our export will be increased by also by 10 to 20 percent more. Because in the whole world now, the pollution is a big concern. Now I am giving you the example of electric. When I started talking about electric as a transport ministry, people was laughing to me. I, rem I remember in one program in Taj Palace, one of the journalists was asking me if the vehicle fell because the battery down, then who is going to make push to that vehicle? Are you going to take that responsibility? But today we have electric buses, electric car, electric scooters, very popular. At the same time now, because of ethanol and the initiative taken by Indian Oil and Honorable Minister, today the 400 pumps are we have now in the four state. So the flex engine is the ultimate target. I feel that I have got the car Innova to, from Toyota. I coming with, I'm using that car and always talking about the biofuel. The car is on 100% bioethanol and creating 40 per 60 percent electricity and as compared with the petrol the cost is coming 25 rupees per liter so first of all the economic viability is there as far as the, we want to make the success story of biofuel the most important challenge is proven technology that is already here economic viability is very important for any ethanol project or any type of new innovation and research, we need economic viability. Without that, we cannot increase the volume. So first of all, the economic viability, proven technology, availability of raw material, and marketability of the finished product. As per the market is concerned, there is a huge potential. Because everywhere, as far as comparison between the fossil fuel and biofuel, in Indian scenario, the cost of biofuel is less and no pollution. So that is the important reason that it is going to be advantageous to the common man also. And that is the reason that we will get the good support from the public. Now, the 85% of the transport sector is consuming fossil fuel. And I feel that there is a market potential is there. Don't bother about that. Because sometime, I'm just giving you the example regarding corn. I know that in Bihar now, many ethanol projects are started. And because of the some changes, the time of the election, government has taken a decision related to the ethanol. Now the decision is now already rectified. But the corn rate was at that time 1200 rupees per quintal. And because of ethanol, it's going up to 2800 rupees per, per quintal. So now, today for this year, the corn acreage is increased by 1.5%. Because of good rate, now farmers are giving priority for the corn. And I'm confident that with a reasonable rate, 100%, you will get the corn available in the country for ethanol. Even the broken rice also, it is also available. The sugar cane juice, molasses, where we can make ethanol from that, it is also economically viable. But related with the rice straw and bamboo, the technology is proven, but the capital cost is very high. I was just uh, telling to Mr. Chaudhary ji, 
that when you are going to develop the technology at the same time you have to develop the vendors who are going to supply you different type of components by reducing that cost you can reduce the capital cost that is very important so today as far as the cng lng is concerned is very very popular now i just give the example in my own city in nagpur one of the taxi owner was telling me he was is my good friend that i have 40 39 taxis but now i am decided that i will take only taxis on cng so this is to be a change in the mind of the people at the same time in nagpur with my initiative i suggest one of my business friend suresh sharma ji is from vaidyanath to start lng pump in nagpur now they have four pumps and eight days before they make the agreement with the volvo aisher for purchasing of 500 lng truck and they have the vaidyanath has got their uh, nbfc and they are going to finance the 500 trucks and now this is to be the potential for that in our city we have wcl western coal field they have taken a decision now that they will take lng trucks so the, there is a municipal waste is also available the municipal waste and dry straw as a waste material is available you are just uh, nearer to this convention center the state of art project dwarka express highway is here and here you can go up to panipat that you are two and in this road we have used 80 lakh ton of municipal garbage this project cost 10000 crore this project cost 8000 crore and that is going to and there is a tunnel also today i got again i examined that tunnel it is going to be inaugurated within a month so as far as the road sector is concerned we are increasing the length of the national highway every day we are making green express highways so india has got the expertise how to increase population and how to increase the automobile number that is to be there so you don't bother about that so this is the time now the middle class people are purchasing the car second hand car and with the family they are going to badrinath kedarnath and gangotri emnotri lastly government has to stop don't come now heavy rush is there because of the road sector the tourism is also going to increase and because of tourism the private taxi buses car there is a huge potential for this business but at the same time if you can give the alternative fuel option for them i feel that there is a good potential for that regarding uh, this ethanol economy i feel that now the flex fuel is very very important already the managing director of tata suzuki and toyota they have decided to start flex engine car in the country the bajaj tvs hero and uh, other two three companies they are also their models are ready with flex engine on 100% ethanol and because of our honorable minister hardeep ji and indian oil they have taken a decision to start 400 ethanol pumps so i am a ambassador for that actually somewhere because of technical thing some confusion creates i have a meeting with yogi ji and i tell him yogi ji you take you reduce the gst on flex engine ethanol he convey to the taking a decision flex engine on electric and petrol also so the gst is reduced but still i feel that it is to be every now in the gst council also we need support from finance minister of different states that the finance minister assure me that we will try to convince the all the finance minister yesterday i have got uh, opportunity to discuss with the finance minister of maharashtra and i tell him you please go to the meeting and put up this proposal for reducing gst up to 12% on flex engine cars scooters that is to be a great thing for all of us today the in maharashtra the gst on bio cng is 5% so really i feel that regarding tractor there is a, also a good saving for that 
somewhere the future of this bio energy is very good now there is you don't be uh, confused about the if you are going to invest what is going to happen i am sure about it that day will come today i can with confidence i can tell to you that 100% within 5 years the size of bio energy bio fuel will be at least 50% of the fossil fuel and now that uh, uh, that uh, these uh, generator manufacturers people also i have a meeting with them they have decided to convert diesel generator into ethanol the kirloskar has developed the kit many of the uh, many of the generator manufacturer were deciding now to change the generator into the ethanol so one of the company also they are taking interest to convert 5 lakhs the telecommunication towers are there and 250 crore liter consumption of diesel now they are also changing into ethanol as a transport minister i got up to interact with the lot of machinery manufacturers particularly construction equipment i am giving you the example of jcb i tell them you should go for alternative fuel or biofuel and now the jcb have a hybrid jcb on cng and diesel they, they got an order from russia for uh, some 1000 jcbs so there is a huge potential the market is there and the raw material is available in india but one of the important sector where i will request you same where we need to find out that how we can going to increase the production of biomass which can be useful for making of biofuel and exactly per acre in place of taking the other type of crop if people if the farmers can take energy crops it can be also a good thing for availability of raw material because rice straw is available we have 400 units in the process out of which 40 already started and uh, rice straw five ton of rice straw is given one ton of bio cng so this is now a success story but at the same time many sugar factories they have press mud and spent wash is available and they can get the bio cng from that and at the same time lot of technology are developed by which we can convert our tractor buses cars petrol cars from petrol to cng that can be also a good potential i feel that this is the time for the country that we have got very good potential we need to create positivity and to create confidence in the mind of the stakeholders now the things are open market is going to increase availability of ethanol again i am very much thankful to hardeep puri ji our minister group is there we have already have a clear policy now so there will be no problem about the purchasing of ethanol because the ethanol which we need we need to increase more production of ethanol in the country i am giving you the example i got opportunity once upon time to discuss with the uh, president of uh, uh, prime minister of bangladesh and also with the prime minister of sri lanka and when i was talking with this biofuel they were asking me that is are you in position to export ethanol to sri lanka and bangladesh today there is a pipeline from numaligad where we are making ethanol from bamboo and the pipeline is going to bangladesh and if we can add that ethanol into the petrol the cost of the petrol in bangladesh will be reduced pollution will be reduced and we will don't we will don't have any problem about the marketing of ethanol so my feeling is now the day by day there is a huge potential in the domestic market and also in the international market now conversion of sugar cane juice to ethanol directly that can be possible now 280 lakh ton of sugar stock is there actually requirement in the year whole year it is maximum up to 300 lakh ton so the sugar is surplus once upon a corn is surplus even in the rice is also available yesterday i was meeting with a officer big officer from uh, food cart of india he was telling me that we have got lot of availability of rice that we can afford to making ethanol from that so my suggestion to you 
Now in agriculture also, every time the technology is changing, the research is going on. Now in agriculture, we have got the corn variety where the production of corn will be 30 quintal per acre. Then also some of the people are make, uh, working on the sweet sorghum also. And I feel that so ethanol production, to increase ethanol production is the our responsibility as a government. We have a coordination between the department, different departments, the food department, agriculture department, petroleum department, bioenergy department, transport ministry, and we are working on that. So my suggestion is don't bother about that. The potential is very, very high. Only the thing which was the problem in the industry previously, but today it's not a problem, to create positivity and uh, confidence in the mind of the people was the problem. But today the manufacturer are also well convinced. Puriji, just uh, 10 days before, we have a meeting with the Atovail manufacturer regarding scrapping policy. Uh, some of the people are here and they promised me that 100% they will go on the line of making manufacturing of flex engine vehicle in the country. So by starting this 400 pump somewhere, when it, uh, for, they are only in the four, four states, but after that, we will request you if the potential is going to increase by selling of ethanol, somewhere we need to start ethanol pump into the different part of the country also. So one, one side we are adding 20% ethanol in petrol. Then also there is a proposal which is on the research, particularly ARI is going to work on that and they are actually unofficially telling me that they are successful technology, adding of ethanol into the diesel also. So by which I feel that the demand of ethanol will be increased. And regarding the bio CNG and LNG, also there is no problem. It is the alternative for the diesel and the economic viability is very, very good. And that is the reason now the car owners, even in the truck owners, they are preferring LNG or CNG. And from agriculture from biomass, by using uh, the new technology innovations, I am 100% confident that the CNG will be available. And even in sugar factory, from press mud and spent wash, also we can make the CNG, bio CNG, and there will be no problem about the source of CNG which we need for our transport sector. So today I am giving my special thanks to all of you with your uh, positivity and confidence, particularly in your faith in this biofuel and bioenergy and the marketability and uh, potential of manufacturing the biofuels in the country. It is going to reduce the import and also the policy of the government is import substitute, cost effective, pollution free and indigenous. I am really happy today we are on the safe ground. The situation is changed. The media, even the investors, the industry, all are giving positive response. And now I, with your all people who are present here, by organizing this uh, big conference here, I feel that 100% within five years, total scenario is going to change. And I'm giving my all best wishes to all of you for uh, participating in this mission and giving thanks to organizer for organizing this movement. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Thank you. I, I request Raviji to just conclude the session and present the mementos to the guests. Ji and MM Active, I feel proud and privileged to be here.